Hey guys, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all have a great day and I hope life is treating you well. So for today's video, I got a video idea. Video idea inspiration from one of you guys. I asked over on my Instagram for ideas for Friday's video and I really like this suggestion. It was going to shops and shopping at places that I never ever go to or that I kind of hate. Um, hate's a very strong word, but for some reason or another, all of these shops I tend not to go in and I'm a very basic person when it comes to my shops. If I want clothes, I'll go to a supermarket, I'll go to Poundlands, Pep & Co or Primark because I just feel the size inclusive, I can usually find something I want and they're just my safety kind of shops. And when it comes to household essentials, I obviously go to Poundland, B&M, Home Bargains all of the time. But there's other shops around that I would just walk straight past and never ever go in. Today's video, I'm going to be going in all of them shops and actually having a walkthrough of every section and just seeing what they're like. And I thought this was a really interesting idea. Just to see if it changes my perception on the shops. Maybe I'm dismissing these shops for absolutely no reason and maybe I'm missing out on an absolutely amazing shop that I just don't know about. So the first culprit is Matalan. I'm going to be heading into Matalan. Now, I have been to Matalan in the last year, but purely just for their home section, I really wanted an outdoor garden mat when I did my pagola up last year and I remember having a look and I got one in the home section I do quite like but when it comes to their clothes and everything like that it is not a shop that I would really go in I just walk past it all the time so we're gonna head in Matalan and that is going to be shop number one yeah she is Matalan my mum used to come to Matalan years ago when I was a child I used to come with that and I have the impression that it's quite old-fashioned and I don't believe to be size inclusive but I could be wrong about that this is what I'm saying when I'm first walking in. Lots of colour. It looks very well organised. Like, nice categories, nice sections. I'm just going to start one way and walk right around the shop and have a good browse. I feel like my friend Jess would wear that. I feel like it's Jess's style. I'm going to... Oh, no. Okay, so they are size inclusive. This goes up to a 20. Okay. Oh, I like that, mind. Oh. And actually need some, like, little cotton shorts. They're a really nice pattern. I really like them. Oh, I like the daisy ones. Size 18. Okay. Oh, a little cord skirt. That is cute. That is actually really cute. They actually have some really pretty, like, summery stuff. Oh, look at that big lilac shirt. Oh, my God. That is so pretty. It's actually, like, really, really soft material as well. What's the price in, like, £10? Actually, I feel like that's quite reason reasonable. Oh my god, look at the pattern of this. That is so pretty. See, that only goes to a size 14. Um, this is also, oh, this one's actually in cup sizes, so 40 day day. I don't know what size it goes up to. It doesn't tell you on the back, sometimes it does. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to have a look. Oh, so, oh, that's the bottoms. Yeah, they don't, I think 30, well, 40 day day seems to be the biggest back size. Yeah, they have so many pretty patterns though. Oh, that's like a little one, one armed bather. I love the colouring of it, like the pattern. So pretty. They have that, like a similar shirt in black. It has like a little cut out detailing on it. That's actually really cute. I like that. Some little corals. Look at them pants. They're jazzy. Oh my god, they are so pretty. <laughs> Why do I really like them? They go up to a size large. I don't know what the sizing's like in here because like I've never, having never shopped yet, I don't really know what the sizing's like. I mean, they look pretty decent size. I try some stuff on just so we can have a look. Oh no, they've actually got extra large as well here. They have like such a good selection of like different style of clothing. That's what I'm noticing. Like when I'm walking around. Like good colour ranges. I like them pastel joggers, but I don't think I'd wear them. Like they have different materials, different colours. Now in the like the Jarmy section. Bras. I feel like I haven't seen bigger than a D coat. Maybe they have a full bust range though. I haven't found it as of yet. Lots of canny though. Like that's a really good value. Like a two pack for £12.50. If they fit you though. <laughs> I feel like my mum likes Matalan Johnny's. I feel like I've heard her talk about them before. Oh, I love the colour of them. I would wear them as pants. I mean, I wouldn't. The material is very Johnny like, but they are gorgeous. Love that pattern. I have like a lot of spaghetti strap ones. I can't wear spaghetti strap because my tip falls out in the middle of the night and I'm just like, lying and want it out. But yeah, good selection. 
bottles. I have some sets as well here. We should have a little duo, a hand wash and a hand and body lotion for £9 and actually more vegan. And then they also have this which is a body wash from the boutique. I don't know if this is like their own brand or exclusive to them. But yeah, and then they also have a little set of body sprays as well. Oh no, this is actually so the brand, so unique. Um, but a little selection of four for eight pound. Full on denim range. This is like a really kind of linen-y soft denim paper bag waist. I really like the style of them, but I just never really I like stuff like that. They do have a full denim range of jeans and jeggings as well. They actually look really nice on that model. These regular ones, boyfriend jeans, push-up jeans. Yeah, good selection of jeans. Some coloured ones as well. Oh, really nice coloured ones. Man fit, man fit, mum fit, pink, white, blue, lilac, and like kind of a minty green at the back there. Size range, I can see a 20 in the white. I can see quite a few 18s. Um, yeah we we'll have a really big sale section but what i like is it's categorized into size so you can literally just flick through your size and see if there's anything you like as i'm walking around i feel like it is very much my mom's wardrobe there's a lot of stuff in here that i could see my mom in her type of fit her type of colors not saying that there's nothing i would wear the is there's quite a lot as well and i'm gonna do like a try on segment but i do feel like oh look at that it's very fancy i do feel like there's a lot of like shape stuff me mom would wear so much color that's what i'm noticing i mean i know we are in the midst of summer so color is to be expected they seem to have a really good gym section as well lots of different types of leggings they've got like literally quite a good gym selection i'm quite impressed mm type shoes oh i actually bought a pair of similar to these from primark the other day if you watch my primark haul how much are they care 6.50 i can't remember how much the primark ones were but that's not a bad price they have white and like a metallic metallic pinky color lots of little heels smart like work looking shoes as well they're cute for work oh my god aren't they pretty they're gorgeous. I like them ones with the big buckle detail in and they had them in nude as well. They're quite happy with the shoe selection. They seem to have like a lot of stuff. A bit messy, but nonetheless. More shoes over there as well, like sandals and loafers. I like them brown sandals there. Dieta style. Some loafer style. Yeah, lots of shoes. Homeware, like I said, I have been to the homeware section and I do think the homeware section is absolutely beautiful. I feel like... I feel like when I compare the homeware section to the other section, like their clothes, the homeware is much more modern in my opinion, rather than like the clothes. That's just what I would say. Maybe that's just me, but yeah. Look at him. I love tiger themed stuff. Little outdoor tiger. Love it. So pretty. Like I honestly do love Matalan's homeware. I think they have nailed it with the home lots of cushions jesus you need some cushions cushions galore gray check pink nude blue so many oh my god fake flowers look at that you have some black eight pound white nude and then you have some like is that dried lavender looks like it hi <laughs> they just oh my god look at that big pompous grass 18 pound they would look so pretty on a big vase and they'll have black as well. They, have, they actually have quite a few sales on at the minute and then they have a selection of candles and reed diffusers. It actually looks like quite a good range. £6 for a reed diffuser, £8 for this style. Candles. Very pretty. Oh my god, look at this piece of wall art. Wow, £14 from £45. What a bargain. Actually, what, what's it even made of? It just feels like kind of light. I thought it was going to be like really heavy, but it actually feels quite light and movable. But they have a full wellness range and they even have like a tray at the bottom where you could like display all your stuff. Oh, they have actually little sets as well. A set of three reed diffusers. Very nice as a little gift. I actually do like bigger furniture pieces as well. And this is in the sale from £50 to £25. And it's got these really cute little Aztec boxes. 
you've got a shelf, black wood, and then you also have a little cupboard in which you can store stuff. It'd be really cute for your bathroom. I really like that. Oh my god, look at the doggy laundry basket. Oh, they have an elephant one as well. Yeah, they have a like huge sale on at the minute, so everything's like really cheap. What is this? A little jewellery box, I think. A little trinket box. Okay, so now we're into the like, well, still homeware. Oh, they have tech section as well. Let's have a look here. Some little beds. Pet and housekeeping. Pet housekeeping. It's actually quite good that. It's got different compartments and segments and then you could keep the treats in. Little toys. Flash and collar. Pet travel cot. Oh, cover. I thought it said cot. I was like, what? Okay, so now in the changing room, trying a few bits on. These are the little white denim shorts I picked up. What I noticed is this button is actually like a fake. It's not real. I thought it was a real button. But this is them. So these are in a size 18, which as you can see, they do fit, but they're a tiny bit tight around the crotch. So I'm going to try the size 20 on. I got the size 20 in blue. Look at that skirt I got. How pretty. Okay, so I've just tried the 20 on and I've noticed that the button's missing. Um, but this obviously fits much better. This is like how they're kind of meant to fit. Quite baggy and oversized. <sighs> Don't think it's a style of short that I would actually wear. But... I don't know actually, I quite like them. I just think it's the colour. I wouldn't usually wear like a dark denim like that. I feel this top is very grandma fitting. It's like, I thought it was going to be like a nice little vest cami, but it is doing nothing for me. I feel disgusted in this top. Okay, this skirt though, why am I kind of like knit? So this is in a size 18. The colours are so beautiful. This is how it looks at the back. The thing with me, I never wear midi skirts just because I don't like that bottom bit of my leg. But I feel like with a nice tan, if I style this with like a cami that I like, like a nice little race crop or something, so I've just got my bloody chips out, I feel like it would look cute. And I could even do what I've done with my dress from Sheen for Ashley's wedding and kind of like tie it there. Okay guys, so a purchase was made and as I was walking out, they actually have a beauty section. Um, so they have some Sunday rain products with body scrub. They also have them sets that I was looking at in the other side of the shop. But look at this, loads of stuff. So, lots of so products. They have Maybelline. Yeah, I didn't even know they had this. And then they have sleek makeup as well. Lots of sun kissed, a bit of revolution, dry shampoo. So they have like a full beauty collective section as well. So that's handy, you know, I didn't know they did this got my eyebrows waxed because I can't get an appointment at Point Brow for a while because I'm not going into like central town and I don't have like that much time um so I just needed a quick wax because they were really overgrown and like she's left a bit of the like stickiness on and my eye keeps like sticking up I never ever get full fat coke actually don't like the way it makes your teeth feel I do what a girl's gotta do right I went obviously to Matalan my verdict of Matalan is I do you feel they're a bit older fashioned than me maybe i would say kind of target audience of like 30s and onwards but it's so weird because i've seen people on instagram do reels with their stuff and it seems to be a lot nicer than the stuff in the store so i had a quick look on the website and i feel like the stuff on the website's a little bit more modern and i didn't see much of that stuff in the store but there was a few nice bits i feel like matalan's home section and even shoes were more modern then clothes clothes just that clothes don't do it for me but i did buy that skirt that i showed you in the dressing room because i do have an idea of how i want to style it my verdict of matlan i don't hate it but i don't love it and i did only actually say up to size 20 stocked in store i don't know whether the stock more online but i think that's quite disappointing i feel like they should stock a little bit more of a size range personally <laughs> can you see me i keep getting stuck <laughs> just left like it I actually have some baby wipes in here I'm going to have to wipe that off it's like when I put eyelashes on and I put the glue all over right we've just pulled up outside of next and we're going to go in I don't know my reasoning for not going to next I feel like one I wouldn't go because it's I feel like it's kind of overpriced but then I also feel like in my head, I'm stereotyping them to be like a bit older fashion than what I would 
tent like but sean goes to next if sean needs like a shirt or like something if we're going somewhere and he wants to have a look sean actually really likes next we're gonna go in next and we're gonna have a look this is what i see when i walk in and i'm already drawn to the cami dress that that model's wearing and that green dress that that model's wearing but i'll just start one way and have a look around i don't even know where to start i feel like there's quite a lot of luggage that's a fancy bit of yellow Ooh. That looks pretty, I like the pattern on that. Oh guys, that's actually really pretty, isn't it? I'm not too keen on the colour though, I feel like I'm not really a colour colour person. My god, look at this. This is really fancy. So this is in a size 20 and it's like a one shoulder zebra pink and red print um dress. And then they've got this like very wedding, like wedding guest vibes. A bit more formal wear on these models here. Oh, look at the little green dress. Very, very cute. Very short looking though. Look at these. Some really bright green tailored trousers in a size 20. £46 though. I do feel that's rather expensive. But they do feel like a really, really good quality. So obviously you do pay for quality. Just notice some little tops in the sale as well. That's a very, I like the colour combination on that. I love the white blazer dress on that model. I feel like that's very, very, very trendy to be honest. And then um, it's like salmony pants are as well. I really like them. I really like these tailored trousers. The straight leg. They're in like really nudie, nice nudie brown colour. They also have like a matching blazer jacket as well. So you could make a little cord of it. I feel like these could be jammies. Oh, well, actually, no, they're not. They're just like everyday wear pants. Oh, if you like me, Grandma would really like them. Grandma, I know you'll be watching. Let us know if you like these. <laughs> um, and then they also have some like leopard print, oh, plain, navy, dark leopard. So I feel like things aren't in proper places, but I haven't been able to find that cami dress, which I really wanted to try. So we'll keep looking. So I've definitely like tried um, next perfumes over the years. I've never tried this skincare range though. It's called Woho well skincare um and they actually have quite a good range lots of different like types as well so this seems to be like a sun lotion and then they have like a refreshing gel cleanser looks like a really decently presented skincare sandals Oops. lots more sandals up here as well oh, i really like these sandals kind of similar to the ones that i wear but these have got like a big wedge on them they are cute, that's pretty. You know they have it in like a more tropical, I was going to say flavour, definitely not a flavour. Got some really nice swimwear pieces as well, but they don't seem to be going as high as the clothes. Size 16 there. Look at this red dress. That is cute. We're having a changing room moment and I think I found, I think I found a pair of jeans that I love. Stop. So these are the softest jean ever. I don't even know what they're called, but this is them. This is them. So I've got the size 18 on. As you can see, they've got a nice little button. Um, belt hooks. They're really soft material. I don't know if they're just a bit tight. Like I don't know if they're giving us a camel toe, so I might try the 20 as well. But this is them. They're like a wide leg blue jean. So cute so soft to touch so easy to move in like they're actually a comfortable jean that you could wear this is the little top i picked up so i love the pattern of this top and i like long sleeve tops so this is winning but this i just i don't like the cut of this i feel like i want it to be a full like a full i don't know like i like the pattern i'm kind of kind of feeling like getting it but because i feel with a tan i'll feel a bit more myself in it but oh, I don't know by the way the lighting in here is really good they have like good lights but yeah I just I'm not sure on the top like the fit of it I feel like it maybe doesn't do much like I would cut probably cut these off and have it actual just off the shoulder rather than this because I just think that's a bit pointless isn't it and I just think it makes us look I would prefer it either all off the shoulder or on the shoulder i actually love these they're 40 pound though which is more than i ever pay for jeans like i usually go to primark and get like their 20 pound jeans so i feel like it's more than i would ever pay for jeans but i'm still quite still quite liking the idea of getting them because they're that comfortable 
Okay, so this is the 20. I feel like they're a bit baggy. These ones are kind of giving us like a second layer here, which I don't like. So I'm going to stick with the 18 and get that because these ones are just overall, there's a bit of extra room that I don't feel I need. Oh, not for me. I like the colours and the pattern, but I just feel so not myself. Like, I don't like the style of this on me at all. I think it does not flatter us. Nah, not for me. And this is £45 as well, which I don't think it's worth this. It's not a bit of me. Guys, look at this jewellery section. I like these. Oh my god, so pretty. These are really cute. I like some ballet them ones with the little black and the gold. Hmm. And you've got some little studs. Oh, I like them big thick gold ones. Okay, so next I actually had a huge sale on and even the woman at the desk when I paid, I mean it does have 50% off on the window. Um, she was like, do you not find anything for sale? And I was like, no. Um, okay, so I'm walking out next now when I still have a picture. Right. Next verdict. More trendy than I thought. Expensive. But our next a sustainable brand. Good, well, I'd say good size range for me because there was plenty of size 18 to 20 items. But if you bigger than that, then um, they didn't seem to have much. Our next sustainable. Well, it says that it uses some eco-friendly materials, including recycled materials. I don't know if they're a sustainable brand. Let us know, please, below if that is why their pricing is the way that it is because if not if they're not like a fully conscious sustainable brand then i don't think the pricing's worth it like i think it's expensive that little top i tried on was 35 pound i feel like you could get that in asda of the same quality for about 15. that's me only niggle we next i feel like they're quite expensive Homeware is beautiful, but again, it's quite pricey. Them jeans. And I feel like next would be good if you are going to a wedding and you wanted like a wedding guest item or if I wanted something like a pair of jeans that I know I'm going to wear again and again and again. But for a fashion piece that I might not wear as much, like that's not the type of shop that I would shop in for that. The next door we're going to go in is H&M. I, I hate H&M. Just putting it out there. I think even when I was a size 14 which is a size that H&M stock very small fitting very very small fitting I remember when I was younger I used to go into H&M and I kind of despised it because I used to go in hoping that I'd have me size and that it would fit and it never ever fitted I feel like their sizing is so off or it used to be I don't know if this is how it is now but I don't like H&M for that reason I just never go to them so we're going to go to H&M we're going to save the even stock size 18 to 20 which I don't feel they do but if they do we'll try it on if I find anything we'll have a look I did go in with Sean recently to H&M and I didn't really have a proper look but I did find a bag that I like so excluding that little trip in that bag I haven't been to H&M in years I'm just walking to H&M in my thought processes what does H&M even bloody stand for okay so when I walk in it's definitely how I remember it very neutral colours, not much pattern. See, on this label here, it says they go up to an XL. Don't even know what it is, actually. I'm saying it's, oh my god, that's not cute. <laughs> I would not wear that. Okay, I like these style pants. I wear them quite often, like a nice flare. They're in quite a nice colour as well. Oh my god. Yeah, they don't have my size in them pants. Well, they do have an XL, which I might try on just to see. Um, but yeah. Oh. I have a bit of colour here, I have a dress with like little cut holes and a little knot in the middle but everything just goes to an XL which is not really size inclusive. This is very pretty-ish, I mean it's a bit glam for me but it's cute. Let's see, I'm going to this floral, kind of like a maxi skirt, kind of like what I was looking out at, at um, what was the first shop I went in at Matalan? See, this is in waist size, I believe. Okay, so the biggest size they actually have in the shop is a 14, so yeah. See, I like them cargoes that they've got on that mobile. The large is the biggest that they have in store with that. Like that. Oh, XL. 
Okay, let's try this on. I have it in an XL. Okay, I've come to the other side of the shop now, and this shop, uh, this side, have more like graphic design tees, a bit more kind of loungewear, little red t-shirt. It actually feels really nice uh, quality, that one. Yeah, okay. I mean, this is quite, this is all right. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm wearing a wrong style bra for this type of top. But yeah, I feel like I just look like I'm going to the office, like going to work. Don't like, don't like this on. The fit's actually all right though. Like it's a very stretchy material, this one. So it was quite a safe game. Okay, this makes us look very booby. And I'm not probably wearing the right, right bra for it. No, I don't like this either actually. <laughs> I feel like I just don't like, I, I just don't like it. Okay, so I walked out with no purchase in H&M. I look like Willy fucking Wonka. <laughs> okay, I didn't realise how much I look like Willy Wonka when I wear them. Right, I have been on a shopping trip to the shops that I don't like, or not necessarily don't like, but don't shop at. And my verdict is, Matalan, I would go back to Matalan, but I feel like it would be temperamental if I was going to get anything. I don't think they stop my size often and i feel like online looks a lot better than in store when it comes to matlan um where did i go after that where did i go after matlan next i like next i thought it was more trendy than i thought but it was overpriced if you ask me uh h&m still not a fan sorry guys my camera battery's just died so we're doing this segment on the phone H&M, yeah, I just feel when it comes to clothes, they're not size inclusive and even though the stock is size 18, it's rarely there and when you do find an 18, I wouldn't say it's an 18, I still think it's a small size. I didn't expect to spend a lot today because I was like, well, I'm going in shops I don't like, I'm going in shops that, you know, on on for me and I'm not going to spend much, Charlie, but I have spent quite a bit. This was my experience, I hope you enjoyed coming shopping with us these shops let us know your thoughts do you like any of these shops is there a shop that you don't particularly like that you might go in after this video just to give it a try and i'm bringing back secret words but as always i like you to try and fit the secret word into a sentence that makes sense upon the video so if you get to the end of the video try and put the word blue into a sentence that makes sense as a comment thank you so much for your love and support as always and i will see you on sunday for the weekly vlog